back to my channel everybody today we are going to be making some cajun salmon and i'm going to go over the ingredients with you all and show y'all how to season your salmon first i'm going to spread my salmon with a little homemade garlic butter now if you watch my other video it will show you how to make the garlic butter but you just want to put a little bit on your hand and you want to just rub rub the garlic butter all on your scent. Just like so. Okay. We're going to get both sides because we want that garlic butter all the way through. And that's a NATO seeds on there. I just rubbed some on there before I had started the video. Okay, now we have our salmon all buttered. Let's make sure I got this out. Did I get this out? Okay. Now we're going to season. I'm using a little time. I have some time here. I'm just going to put a little bit lightly. And I have some sea salt here. I don't use that much salt. Just a, just a little bit. Have some dill weed here. Right here we have some onion powder. And a sprinkle. After you put your seasons on, you want to rub it. You want to rub this all in. You don't want to wash your hand yet. Because you want to rub these spices all in. Now the oregano. What I do, I like to crunch, crunch, crunch it in my hand like that. And then, you know. Put it all over there. That oregano smells so good. Okay, we have a little a needle powder. It's gonna get give it really extra added flavor and coloring. Pat that in. A little basil, some cayenne pepper. And then we're going to add a little chili lime. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take that garlic butter and I'm going to pat that in here like that. See that? I'm going to take some more of that garlic butter. Pat those seasonings. And then... And we're going to place this fish in, in our bowl because it's going to, we're going to marinate this. Okay, we're gonna let that marinate and I'll be right back. We're gonna get our meal complete. I have the water for the pasta and we're getting our pan heated up for our fish, for our salmon. And in your water, you wanna bring, uh, put a teaspoon of oil in it and a pinch of, a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt and bring that to a bowl and then you're gonna add your pasta to that. Now you wanna add some of that garlic butter to this pan. And I'm gonna 
put this skin side down so we can get that crunchy. I love that crunchy, the crunchy skin. And you want to cook this on each side for five minutes. Five minutes on each side. Set the timer. Bringing our water to a bowl for our pasta. And then after the salmon is done, we're going to make the creamy, cheesy sauce that's going to go over top it and make this good. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Okay, our water is boiling, and we're going to put our pasta in. And for perfect pasta, you always want to wait till your water comes to a boil first before you put the pasta in. Some people put their pasta in beforehand. And we're going to let this go about five minutes, five to seven minutes. So here comes the best part ready to make our cheesy sauce. We want to add some roasted tomato. We're going to add these are oyster mushrooms. And we're going to add our onion. And a little green onion. So you want to turn this on low and let this cook for like two minutes. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to add our cream. And this, I'm, I'm going to add about two, this is like two cups of cream to this. And then you're going to whisk this all together. You want to let this come to a boil. After this comes to a boil, you can add kale or you can add Swiss chard to this, whatever your preference. Because it's kind of thick, but I just put some a little spring water inside the jar so we can get the rest of it out. Because I don't like using plain water anything but we want to loosen this up huh? get this nice and creamy I'm gonna add the rest of that this is about I added about two cups of water to this you can eyeball it and just when you making your sauce if you want it thick whatever your preference if you want it thick or you want it thin then, you, of course, you know you just add a little bit more veggie broth or something like that. Not just plain water, or you can just add some spring water to your um, jar that you're heavy whipping cream with. Okay, we are back. So, blend it up, and now we're going to pour this back in our pan to heat that up. Then you're gonna add some your daya cheese, the shredded style. And we're gonna add some of our dairy-free Parmesan cheese. Stir this in until it gets all melted. Then you're gonna add Swiss chard or your kale to your cheese salt. And now we're gonna add, I'm gonna add some kale. Okay. And after you add your kale, you're gonna put this back on low, low heat. I had the heat too high. You wanna put this on low heat and just let it, just let it simmer. And it's all done. Now I'm gonna plate this up and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back and this is the finish. Nope, we have some garlic butter bread, Cajun salmon, and creamy cheesy kale pasta. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.